Okay, everybody, so there was a plan today, and that plan was to possibly go out, uh, do a live stream walk, and see if I could survive on nothing but street foods here in Kinshi. But I kind of had a different idea, and I kind of like this one a little bit better. What we're going to do is we're going to survive on Don Quixote, uh, Convini, so maybe a seven, something like that, as well as... I saw a place called Aeon and another place called Seiyu. Seiyu, I know, is absolutely a uh, grocery store. So I wanna see how we can eat on a budget doing strictly those places. I mean, it's always smarter to go to places like grocery stores and things like that. Let's see how good the snacks and things like that actually are. The ramens, the different snacks. So, I mean, that's pretty much all it's gonna be right now. And we're pulling up right now on the Don himself. All right, this is the Kinshicho Don Quixote right here. Let's go ahead inside and take a look around. I kind of explained this before when I gone into a couple of different uh, Don Quixotes. This one here is actually about five different levels and we don't really need to go upstairs. The main level there is strictly female products, makeup, different things like that. But downstairs on this one, in the basement level, is where they have all the foods. I mean, snacks galore throughout this place. But what I'm looking for right now are things like ramen. Oh, yo. Chicken skin. We definitely get one of them. All right, so pretty much so that they don't trip out, I'm gonna go ahead and do my shopping and get out of here. Because a lot of times these places, you know, they don't like uh, filming. They haven't said anything yet, but they just usually don't like it. And since there's a lot more people in here that I would like to have in here right now, I'm gonna go ahead and pick everything up. We'll stop at the next place. And we'll take everything back and go ahead and eat and try all of it out. All right, so we got everything we needed at Don Quixote. And if you guys don't know, when you shop here in Japan, most places are going to charge you for a bag if you need a bag. So just be aware of that. It's only like three cents, three, maybe four cents, depending on the place. Hmm, just passed by Lawson. Should have gone in there. But all I want to do right now over at uh, 7 is grab something like a quick snack for while I'm, you know, walking around and doing all the rest of the shopping. This here, everything that I'm getting is going to be enough food for two to three days, to be honest about it. And I mean, if I'm going to go out and eat it all, it's probably going to be once a day. So I don't even know if I should buy anything from 7 right now because my meal for the day is going to be coming up here in the next couple of hours hmm we'll make a decision we'll figure it out but after seven uh, i'm gonna head over to aeon and if i can find everything there i might not go to say you this time if not we'll head into say you Aeon kind of reminds me <clears throat> of the place that I took you guys before in Asakusa called Maruetsu. They're kind of the same thing. Uh, smaller little markets that you can go and pick things up in. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a couple of things up here and then we'll head over to Seiyu and then head out for dinner. seen those here in forever. Mm -hmm. 
So I finished over at Aeon, but they didn't have quite everything that I wanted to get. And so we were going to stop at Seiyu anyway, and we're here now. Seiyu is crazy. They have, I, this is a full on shopping center, well, a shopping uh, uh, grocery market. I can't even speak looking at this place. Inside of this huge shopping center. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and here, check it out, buy a couple of things, and then head back. Honestly, I don't know if uh, they're gonna say anything about me recording. I'll try and get a little bit in before they make me stop. Okay, at this point, I honestly, I question having to go out to eat at this point. Like, I'm not even kidding. The sushi is fucking amazing, and it's absolutely fresh. Yeah, with the sushi and the prices on it and everything else, I might not be going out to dinner tonight. It might honestly be a situation where um, I'm going to grab one thing from seven, and take it back, and we're going to do all these snacks and ramens and everything else we got. That store was completely organized in every single way you could possibly think. Nothing out of place. And the prices were really, really good. So I did decide to go ahead and grab sushi. I got to grab one more thing that I saw. But I thought they say you would have it. They don't. So I got to run back over to Don Quixote real quick. This is going to be a couple minutes. And then I'm going to head back to the spot. I'm going to probably pick up something like, um, I don't know. Mm, sausage or something like that just because of the fact that I know when I'm making this other stuff I'm gonna want to have it with it the sushi's honestly enough for uh, as far as like dinner goes tonight but I'm gonna eat a couple of things out of here but as soon as I get back we'll take a look at everything I got and I'll tell you guys how much it costs but yeah next couple of days it's gonna be all snack food all right, so yeah, we made it back. And this is what we've got. Now, this whole video kind of got turned around right at the point that I saw that. Half hot, not just hot, but supposedly on exit burn your cheeks off hot and this side nice and cool to calm it down that there in itself is that's a half a day worth of meal right there but this here all of it should run me keep me safe for at least three days the problem is it's me we're talking about so more than likely a day and a half worth of this is going to get eaten right now but what i can tell you is that this right here easily breakfast the onigiri easily breakfast same thing with the noodles in fact i think this is breakfast tomorrow i don't want to eat this right now and hurt myself that'll be tomorrow morning's breakfast because i mean you eat noodles here for breakfast and things like that and the reason why I got the chicken skins was because it is going in with both of the ramens that I got. So to kind of give a breakdown of the stuff we got, let's run through it real quick. Okay, so first off, we got the sushi here. This is shrimp with egg, sesame, all the veggies in there, stuff like that. We got that rolling. This cheese danish. Eat it as a snack or breakfast. And the thing about it, perfect with coffee right here. That's another breakfast right there. We got the chicken skins because that's the add-on to both the ramen we got. We got this little katsu cutlet uh, uh, snack that I mean you can eat at any point in time of the day it, it's literally just a snack it's supposed to be kind of like a thin layer of um, you know like pork katsu or chicken katsu things like that and then another one this is red bean paste cake if you guys don't know I love red bean paste black bean paste too but red bean paste 
or desserts and things like that, fire. This right here, again, snack or breakfast. It just works. You got this little sausage, and that little sausage is actually going to go in with uh, more than likely the spicy ramen. Speaking of the spicy ramen, I'm actually looking forward to that for breakfast. I'm actually looking forward to that. Now, this one's kind of weird, but I went ahead and got it. The chicken, you know what, the sausage might go in here instead. The chicken, uh, some of the chicken skin is going in here along with, I'm going to say that sausage. It's a little weird, but it's supposed to be a spicy uh, uh, mustard and mayo mixture to go inside this ramen. That's what we're going to eat after the sushi. So <laughs> we'll see what happens after I try, when I try this, all right, tonight. Your boy can't live without chips. Some nice spicy potato chips. We got those running. But then, found the fish senbei uh, uh, crackers. We love these things. Love them. They are absolutely delicious. This right here, again, another possible breakfast or uh, I'm, I'm talking like cafe style breakfast. Get yourself some coffee. You grab one of these right here. This, it's a sakura uh, flavored cake with cream in the middle. Perfect as either a snack or part of a quick breakfast in the morning. It'll keep you going. And of course, yeah, I showed you guys this already, but seriously, you can live on these things. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't advise it, but I mean, they can be eaten easily three times a day. And this one specifically, I got cod roe because it's absolutely amazing. I was going to go with, uh, uh, the spicy tuna, but it's the spicy cod roe right here. Delicious. So yeah, we're going to try some of this stuff out right now. I'm going to, I mean, essentially <laughs> have dinner, <laughs> tell y'all what it, uh, what it tastes like. And then I'll let you know exactly what everything came up to being. So yeah, essentially three days worth of food. On one of those days, I'll have to go out and eat once. That's it. Or just go and pick up something from seven. And since I said that this was that type of video, that's exactly what's going to happen. Instead of going out to, uh, to eat, I'm just going to pick up something from seven for dinner. All right, let me go ahead and get things set. I'm gonna have the sushi first. I'll let you, uh, let you all know what that tastes like. And then we'll run down these <laughs> these noodles here. The, the spicy mustard with mayo. <sighs> That's a strange combination. And as a snack, I don't know. I might either have to bust open the bags of chips or instead of saving the, uh, since I got everything else for breakfast already, Instead of saving the little sakura cake here, I might have to go and bust that open for the snack. So, yeah. Let me go ahead and make this, and I'll be right back. So, before I even crack open the, the, the sushi, I want to try these spicy chips just to see, are they even spicy? Slightly red color. Nothing too serious. Hmm. This. I better close these. I'm about to kill it. Yo. They're not super spicy, but it's like 
It just keeps a little uh, tingle in the mouth. It sounds weird, but that's what it is. They're really good, though. They're really good. They had a little spice to them, but nothing serious. But it just, it's just like a funny, like, sensation, um, tingling. I like them. They're, they're really good. We got the sushi there. It smells fantastic. The right smell. Like, <laughs> no joke. I don't know if you guys have ever be, uh, smelled bad, bad sushi before. And I'm not, that's not a metaphor. <laughs> but that would be rank. Let's go ahead and run this and check it out. Mm. Mm. Hell yeah. Y'all gonna be mad. This right here was only 254 yen. In America, for this, you pay seven bucks easily, if not more, depending on where you are. At 254 yen. This cost me like a dollar fifty. That's it. A dollar sixty. We'll go there. One fifty between one fifty and one sixty, like one fifty eight, something like that. Cannot complain about this at all. Like it's good. Really good. I mean, even at a grocery store in the States, you would still be spending for real. Decided that was a one hitter. All right, so we got the ramen here. Let's go ahead and crack this open and see what we're working with. system what you do is you do not take this all the way off you want to rip it open to the line that's right here go ahead and put your water in there no need to microwave it you want super hot water it's a definite right there once you get the water in there you go ahead and open up the little valve back here just pop that open like me personally I always put something on the front if it doesn't stay uh, uh, down, if the lid doesn't stay down, because I want to keep all that heat and everything else and moisture inside of there. But yeah, if you pop that little valve open, let it sit five minutes, something like that. And with these, this one specifically, you drain the liquid off. Now, I'm gonna leave a little bit in there I'm going to leave very little. In fact, the line is probably about right to here. So I'll put that up. And once I drain it off, I'm probably going to leave about this amount of liquid in here. And the only reason why, I want to drop these in there. And though I know the sauce and everything will, you know, uh, make this a little bit moister because it's super, it's super dry and crispy right now. I mean, technically, I could just leave it super crispy but I do kind of want that chicken skin to break down at least a couple of pieces down at the bottom 
in the uh in the liquid so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and yeah get this going i'll be back in a couple minutes so i'm back now i already poured off i pretty much poured off all the water because you know what i realized it's not going to be that necessary now in the container it comes with three different sauces so you got that one there i'm sorry two different sauces plus a little bit of a it's like the cabbage and dried out cabbage dehydrated yeah that's dehydrated cabbage in there and then you got your mayo all right so i'm gonna go ahead and put this together drop some of the chicken skin in there and then throw the uh just throw the sausage stick in there if i want to eat it i'll eat it bite by bite pretty simple some of the chicken skins which technically these are like a beer snack the chicken skins are oh yeah see that's why you do need a little bit of liquid in there it's almost like a pork rind You can eat this all day long. Eat these things all day long like they chips. Oh, wow. Now, the mayonnaise part isn't that abnormal because, I mean, in a lot of ramen shops, they'll actually have mayonnaise on the table. <clears throat> Japanese people love mayonnaise, like no joke. You find spicy mayos and stuff like that everywhere, but you just throw that on top of it thickens up the broth a little bit and it does actually give it a pretty good flavor and that there's what we end up with if it had like some uh like dehydrated uh scallions or something like that green onions that would probably be a banger i still have the a little bit of the wasabi and um some of the ginger but let me go ahead and check this out just on its own first Mm. How does that work together? Yeah, that's legit. Straight up, yeah. I'm about to start gaming right now too. This is, yeah, this is definitely sit down game and snack food right here. Let me hit it with the, the chicken skin and see what's up. See how that worked. Mm. Even better. Hold on. together absolute fire I'm gonna kill this off and then tomorrow morning when I wake up after you get ready I'm gonna go ahead and crack open the two-in-one I'll tell you right now I think that's gonna be good and that's gonna be a hell of a way to like fully wake up to some super spicy food like that I hope it's super spicy I'll say that I hope it is okay so it's early in the morning and um it's about time to go ahead and crack open this yakisoba for breakfast i will say the yakisoba from last night i finished it it was so good <laughs> it ended up being really good i'm afraid about this one though today because i mean it gives a warning on the heat level but I still haven't found anything here that was extremely hot to the point to where I should really worry. But knowing that I'm going to be leaving out here right after eating this, I'm just like, please don't have me walking around <laughs> with a messed up stomach all day. That that would be that would be a tragedy. Oh, it, I ended up eating the little strawberry and sakura cake last night. Oh my goodness, it was 
so good so good and that's the thing right now during the, uh, the rest of this month I, it might go through April, uh, may as well but you're gonna find a ton of, tr of treats and things like that that have cherry blossom flavors added to it and if you haven't already noticed this video is sponsored by tokyopersonalshopper.com Tokyo Personal Shopper gives you the ability to go online and get more than just snacks delivered to you. They're delivering Japan directly to you. And if you use my code or the link in the description, use the link in the description, so much easier. Right now, you'll get $10 off your first order. That includes not only snack boxes and snack subscriptions, but it also includes all of the packages that are there on the website. They're adding more stuff all the time and even gonna have a custom build uh, for you to build your own package specifically. It's really easy to use and right now you're actually getting free shipping on nearly everything in the store. And if you do a snack box su subscription, your shipping is free for the entirety of the subscription. Now remember, these snack boxes come with more than just snacks. They actually give you yakisobas, ramens, teas, everything all inside the box and you're actually getting things that are very specifically unique to japan coming from small mom and pop shops and also you know, some of the larger places with things that you won't find anywhere else in the world so please go ahead check out tokyopersonalshopper.com use the link in the description to help your boy out and support the channel <laughs> okay so i popped this bad boy open there is no separator in the box, but there's two different sides. I, I can't take this all the way off. So there's two different blocks of yakisoba noodles in here, but it has one, two, three, four different little packs in here. All right, so of course this here is the vegetables, cabbage, uh, and it looks like dehydrated meat in here as well. This is pepper seasoning, and this one, yeah, this one is for the hot side. This one is for the um, the other side. It's pretty much like sesame seeds, and then a little bit of seasoning and stuff like that in there. You can obviously tell even without being able to read this which side is which. This one of course is for the not so hot side and this one is for the spicy side all right there it is finished you can clearly see the difference this one's darker than this side here plus that side also has you know the sesame and everything else on it <sighs> let's go ahead and try this out okay so i'm gonna go ahead and start with the not spicy side just so i don't you know just in case so i don't mess the taste buds up or anything else by going in after. Yeesh. That's nice. I like that. Mm. All right, let's see what we got on this side. instant <coughs> as soon as I put that <laughs> as soon as I put that in my mouth and took a little breath I mean instant again it's not overbearingly hot like I wanted more spice but I will say like it gives a warning on the package <laughs> to be careful feeding this to children or to people who can't handle spice and i understand why it leaves it it, it is definitely leaving like that mouth tingle going on too hold on let me get 
Let me get a good amount of it. Let's see if that helps. It's good. There's a nice little spice, but nothing extreme. This is a lot. This is a lot of uh, yakisoba. I'm gonna kill it off. This will keep me sustained throughout most of the day. And that's the point of stuff like this, especially here. But anyway, all of this, everything that I bought, three days worth of stuff, it easily, it came up to 1,500, yeah, a little bit over 1,500, we'll say 1,600, but that's about $10.20, $10 and 50 cents or so, but in between that range, US dollars. And I'm going to say that that's pretty good to have enough food to eat for two to three meals out of a day for three days. It's about three bucks a day. Just a little bit over. But hey, everybody, thanks a million for watching. I'm going to kill this off and get out and go do what I do. Please like, comment, and subscribe. <clears throat> Check out the link in the description. Check out Tokyo Personal Shopper. Get Japan delivered to you today. I'm Michelle Bulladay. It's been good. It's been fun. It's been great. I'll see you guys next time. But hey, I'm going to go ahead and eat this. Get back to living. So on that note, I'm out. Peace.